Today on our 1997 Jeep Wrangler, we're going to be installing the T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat trailer connector. Part number is 118356. Now right in here in the rear corner of the vehicle, both on the driver's side and passenger side, there's going to be this little plastic panel. What we want to do is a little push fastener right here. We want to pull that out. And that'll allow us to drop this cover down and we'll get it out of the way far enough to where we can get up inside here and work. What we're looking for inside is gonna be this plug right here. That's the plug that goes up to our wiring. Right here on the back sides are locking tabs, so we want to push up on that and we'll separate that connector just like that. Now let's head over to the passenger side, we'll do the same thing. Pull up on that tab, separate that one as well. You see how there's a bunch of dirt and grime on there? Well, as a Jeep owner, they've done a good job of making it a Jeep, but we need to just kind of clean that up so we don't have anything in our way. We want to make sure we get a good connection, and sometimes dirt and debris can interfere with that. All right, now let's grab our harness. Now we're going to take some of the dielectric grease that we have here at E-Trailer, and we just want to kind of fill in those connectors a little bit. Just to help get, keep any water and dust and debris, stuff like that out. This is part number 11755. Then what we'll do is take our male side here. This is going to get slid into the female side of our factory connector. Once it's in there, give it a couple pushes, pulls, make sure everything's nice and secure. And then we'll do the same thing up here. Now let's start guiding the green and white side over towards the passenger's connection point. Now as we route this, we want to stay away from heat sources and things like that. But we should be able to lay this right across the top of the bumper just by going over the frame rail here and then sliding out between the top rail of our bumper and the bottom side of the tub of the Jeep itself. Guided the four pull through there and now we'll just pull out the slat. Pull this over here towards the middle. That's where we're going to want it. Right here. We'll keep going with the green and white wire. Then we'll tuck it right back in on the passenger side here where we pulled it out on the driver's side. When we pull up, we're ready to make our connection and our ground connection right here at our frame point. Now let's get a little grease on the connections here. And get these put up into place. As you can see it's a really easy wiring kit to install. Just a plug and play setup here. Now we'll take our white ground wire here. We're going to find a good ground source. We'll just go right off the bumper here and we'll get that tied in. Use the self-tapping screw that's provided. Now that we've got that hole drilled, let's rough up that surface a little bit. You could use sandpaper or a screwdriver or just going to use a little rotary tool. Let's get it cleaned up so we'll get good contact there. We'll wire back in. And then since we kind of bared that metal up, we clean it up just slightly. Now we can pull our panels back down, get them tucked back into the, the fender there, and then we'll reinsert our push pin fasteners to hold those back in place. All right, let's do the same thing on the passenger side. Now we've got a few extra kind of wires over here, you know, with the ground wire and such. So let's get this one just wrapped up with a zip tie here, kind of keep it all together as one. With that nice and secure, let's just take a look here at our wiring and secure it up a little bit. We're going to have that green and white wire that runs over from the passenger side. 
there's a couple holes here. So what we'll do is just run a zip tie down and in, go around that green wire, and then we'll come right back over the top, connect our zip tie, and then pull any slack that we might have over this way. And we'll just tuck that up behind the, uh, behind the panel we just put in. Just keep it from popping up as we're heading down the road. Let's go over to the driver's side. Get one wrapped around there. We'll tuck all our wires kind of down and away here. See our pigtail is going to come out. Give us a nice connection. Now I think I'm going to go right around the tube of the bumper here just to kind of hold everything nice and steady. It's just going to keep us from pulling out too much and trying to pull our wires up and out and also keep it from falling back down and in. So we we'll just kind of hold that position. And down here we can just open that cover up, bring it around the safety chain connection point. We'll slide it back in. We'll hold it in place nicely for us until we need it. Now let's run through, test everything and make sure it's working. We're going to use a simple test light. We'll connect our grounding clamp to the actual ground. That's a great way to test that. And then we're first, we've got the uh, the regular headlights on in the car, the running lights. We'll test the brown wire for a constant signal. It's working perfect. Nice loud tone, we're getting a good ground. We're also getting a good signal from our lights. Now for the yellow wire, we'll have them turn on the left blinker and we should get a flashing signal. Perfect. Now the right blinker will be the green wire. Perfect. And now brakes. Now we should get a constant signal from both the green and the yellow. Perfect. We're ready to hook up and head down the road. And that'll complete the installation of the T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat connector, part number 118356 on our 1997 Jeep Wrangler.